Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. I got an email from Jack, who's a Mac Help for Mom subscriber, and he asked how he could make his trackpad less sensitive. Well, the answer is in System Preferences, which you can sometimes find on your dock, but always find under the Apple menu. And under the Hardware section of System Preferences, you'll see Trackpad. The three main sensitivity settings are right up on top. You've got tracking speed, double click speed, and scrolling speed. Let me show you those. First thing to notice is if you hover over one of these sliders, it'll actually give you a description of what that setting is. Tracking speed is how quickly you want the cursor or pointer to move on the screen when you move your finger on the trackpad. So when it's slow, Here's how far it will move when I move my finger on the trackpad. Not very far. If you want to get from one side of the screen to the other, it's going to take multiple swipes, which I found, find a little slow. On the other hand, fast and a swipe gets you from one side to the other probably too quickly. That's why I like the normal setting right here, where a swipe from one side of the trackpad to the other pretty much covers the whole screen but gives you a little fine control. Now double click speed is how quickly or slowly you can double click on the trackpad button and have it count as a double click. So when it's slow, look how slowly I can double click. Click, click, that's still counted as a double click. Click, click, gosh, two or three seconds still counts as a double click. If you set it to fast, then even that doesn't count as a double click. You really got to go fast, probably too fast for most people. Once again, I like how that's normally set. And finally, scrolling speed is how fast you want a window to scroll when you use two fingers which is the scrolling mechanism on the trackpad. So watch this. As slow as it can get, and now it's taking me multiple swipes to get down this page. If I set it to fast, check this out. One swipe, all the way to the bottom. But that also means that you don't have as good fine control because it's moving so quickly. So let's see, I think that one is usually around there. That looks pretty good. Finally, um, what I really love about this trackpad system preferences is this section over here where you can turn on and off the various features for one, two, three, and even four fingers at one time on the trackpad. And what's really cool, I don't know if you've been watching, but this side of the window actually gives you a demonstration of down here someone using the trackpad in a certain way and up here what would happen on your screen. So for instance just hover over rotate under the two finger section and you see how you can rotate photos. See moving the fingers and in iPhoto the photo rotates. Or you can pinch and here they show you a pinch. I won't go through all of these, but this is just a great way built right into your Mac on how you can learn the various things you can do with your trackpad. Here's my favorite. In Safari, you can use three fingers back and forth, left and right, to navigate forward and backward. So you don't have to move up to your... Um, well, here, I'll show you. You don't have to move up to your back button you can just do a three finger swipe like that and I'm back to the Wikipedia homepage. So I hope that helps. I hope that answers your question, Jack. And have fun learning all the various techniques within the trackpad system preferences.